Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Queen Sensei, as you all may know. If you don't know, welcome to the channel. I hope this reading resonates for you. I hope you get some clarity, um, some type of motivation, some type of truth. And ironically, I might type of this video, I'm only truth, I'm not sure, but that's just what it's giving. Um, a lot of clearing of energy, things of that nature, so... Um, be mindful that I could be saying you, it could be them. I could be saying he, it could be she. Put the rose where they fit. If it's not fitting, don't force it. Let it fly. Um, also, don't forget to check out my community tab um, for my cards, my oracle decks. It's somewhere. I probably, I'll probably use them today. So, yeah, just be mindful of that. Also, what else do I want to say? Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe to get me back in the algorithm, to get me back, you know, in the YouTube's algorithm, energetically support back to the channel. Okay. So, Aquarius, I got a list of notes that I was channeling while I shuffled my cards and stuff like that. All right. So, of course, if I don't title this video The Moment of Truth, it'll be something else, but definitely something coming full circle. Um... Also, I do want to say, it's a video on my channel. It says Aquarius, get ready to rumble. That may be significant for you guys, but okay, we'll we'll get into it. All right, yeah. Something definitely about the moment of truth, all right? But we got the month of June, maybe significant. Um, The same theme coming around, all right? Whatever happened in June may be happening now, or whatever was unresolved in June, may be coming around again now um we got pisces heavily in your chart all right something about pisces in your chart is significant it could be like um i think pisces is yeah ruled by neptune so yeah look into that i i can't look into it right now because my phone too 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 as i said that I can't even look because it's in my phone, but something about Pisces and Neptune is here. Dreams is significant. All right. I also got gossiping is a form of witchcraft. Um, make sure to not involve yourself in senseless conversations. Also, something about what goes around comes around. So I'm not sure if you guys was like talking about something, maybe in a negative way or some, some of that sort. And I feel like you're kind of dealing with the same type of situation right now. So just be mindful, the power of the tongue is very significant. All right, we got a situation needs to be looked at from every angle. Don't just see your side, see the whole thing from a bird's eye view. Um, Like I said, I feel like the moment of truth like is, is like being heavily played on y'all right now. And I kind of feel like maybe some of y'all was biased. Um, yeah, a lot of, I don't know if y'all did a lot of manifestations of moon work during this full moon or you should have done that all right yeah because it's a lot of people in your business um also something about toxic family members okay but i'm getting beside myself all right that could be you like very very distracted at this time like yeah some shit about to hit the fan for sure all right <laughs> but we got um yeah, making sure you're seeing everything from every type of perspective. Um, we got feelings of guilt going on. So, I, like I said, I feel like, I don't know, you're kind of assessing yourself as well as everybody else right now. Um, you may have spoke too soon about something, all right? We got noise in your mind and also got free mind by Tim's made to be significant. And we got y'all listening to a lot of music to kind of like get y'all both together or to clear out any bad thoughts or anything i feel like y'all been playing a lot of music for some of y'all a lot of frequencies is significant but a lot of y'all just a lot of feel good music or music that um makes you get in that that mode all right something about futuristic vibe is significant okay and then we also have a deadline approaching needing less or more time um something about apartment complex is significant all right expecting something to happen is significant all right, we also got fraudulent activity 
any party. This could be with you. This could be with somebody else. Um, be mindful of scams or something about fraud or fraudulent activity. Somebody could be a fraud. Um, just pay attention to that. We also have sexual energy here. Y'all could be dealing with the Orisha Quitesh, okay? All right, it's a lot of mistress energy here, okay? It talks about goddess of sacred lust. Um, the temple is the lover, so Gemini could be significant, or the house, um, the third house is significant. Um, fire signs heavily significant. All right, it says Quitesh, the mistress of the mistress of the gods is the Egyptian goddess of sacred sexuality, ecstasy, and fertility. So y'all could be dealing with those three things, sex, sacred sexuality, ecstasy, and fertility. Or I could be very, very fertile at this moment and indulging in like some type of drugs or some type of habit that you do every day. Um, euphoria is significant. We got her two men, yes, are the fer fertility god, men and Montu, the god of war. So... Um, I was picking up heavily mistress energy or like side chick, side dude energy. I'm not sure if y'all in this energy or if somebody else is, but yeah, I feel like that's going to be coming out very, very soon. Um, it says, Quetesh Goddess, you are an erotic creature. You have the divine right to experience sexual ecstasy. That's what I'm saying. Like something about your sexual energy is like very, very, in I don't know, because everybody keeps saying something is open with like a sexual portal. I don't know. Y'all y'all be I don't know. I don't know. Something about your Lilith sign too. You could have Lilith in Aquarius.